And the complexity of the process, especially if you've got multiple content flows. And even though they're low code or no code, you still need somebody with a very logical brain to understand how to design and test and maintain those processes. I would say you're right, Spencer. Where it works best is where you have constrained inputs and outputs and right. they're limited right. in number. The moment you're looking at something, the scale of, of say an IBM or something where you might have 50 uh, different repositories you're hooking and forget about it. Yeah. No one could maintain that. Yeah, I think that's certainly what we've seen too, which is in the rollout of our workflow builder. Man, you can get connectors up faster. You can hook into repositories. You can build workflows, but then it's still underlyingly the data types, the file sizes, the data types, the specificity of the data. That that's a like a frontier that's still very difficult to handle any type of file in a business seamlessly with just like a sort of a no-code drag and drop setup. 